I'm outside, man, that nigga fucked up. That nigga striked out, he don't play with me. I quit you rolling? Close. Fuck. Bad legs got you in a chokehold. Come to me as a woman, it's a no no. Cause who the fuck won't smoke by the bozo? Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. Another digital interview with me, the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme. And I'm sitting next to not only a Grammy Award winner, but she's dropping a crazy single that's already out called Bozo. My friend, my sister, Callie. Hey. With three eyes, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm even better now that you have a Grammy in your position. Me too. How does that feel? Um, it feels really good. I'm I was surprised, but you know, I work hard every day mm -hmm. and so it's like it was bound to happen. Yeah. Yeah. When you first got the call for the Barbie movie, where were you? How was that reaction? I was in LA and I was with my team and mm -hmm. they was telling me about it and I'm like, Barbie, that's like a no brainer. <laughs> yeah. Like Yeah. Did you play with Barbies a lot when you grew up or were you like Yeah. Okay, of course. Cool. That was like Having a Barbie was like the it girl thing. Mm -hmm. Having the Barbie houses and like the cars. The, yeah, like that was the it girl thing. And my favorite color, pink. So anything surrounded with pink, I'm a love. Fire. Yeah. Fire. When you okay, so did you go anywhere to like record for the album? Did you send your verse in? How did that work with just you know? Oh, I song? was actually with Trinidad James Fire. when I recorded it. And mm -hmm. We was at his studio at his place, Fire. and we worked on that together. And it was just, it was super fun. Like Trinidad's full of energy. I love working with him. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's dope, man. Shout out Trinidad, always yeah. come with good energy. Uh, now, Bozo, yeah, it's out right now. By the time they are seeing this, okay, the sample Keisha Cola. Before we go into you know describing the song, I want to know your top three R&B songs of all time. My top three R&B songs. It's about to sound so, like weird. <laughs> My selection. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go Chris Brown popping. <laughs> I respect that. Why though? It's just... It has, must, you must have a really good memory with that song. Yes, like, it's just get you up and dancing in the video. It's just like, uh, like you know? I feel, I feel like. um, Keisha Cole Love, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. mm, let me think my last one. Let me think my last one. Fantasia, When I See You. I feel like people try to burn it out, but it's such a good song. That's a, no, especially you can that never second burn, verse. You can never burn Fantasia out. That second verse is insane. Yeah, I'm going. My favorite top three is "Blind by Scissor." Okay, it's a new one, but it's. I it's thought we was song. going old. Like, I'm doing all old time. R &B I'm doing okay, all okay, time. okay, okay. But I'm gonna still stick with mine. Even over the new stuff. No, I'm. I need two categories. I need two categories. Okay. So we're going to call that old school. Yeah. I'd say my old school may be If Only You Knew, Patty LaBelle. Mm -hmm. You know that song? Mm -hmm. I know that. Okay, okay, I okay, know okay, it. Okay. Um, <laughs> if Only You Knew by Patty LaBelle. Uh -huh. um, Funny How Time Flies by Janet Jackson. You know that song? No. I'm, that, but you about to put me on. I'm, okay, I'm going to have to go listen. Shazam, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to. Go. Um, and then third, I'm going Al Green. Love and happiness. Okay. I want that played in my wedding. Okay, so new school. We'll say 2010 to now. Um. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna start for my girl Janae. And we gonna mm. go the worst. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good one. Then I'm gonna go Beyonce. Which one? One plus one. Uh, I'm going one plus one. No, I'm going irreplaceable. Cause that's Is that a love song though? Or is that a popping song? It's like she's kinda saying like That's it's R and B. Like It is though. Best. It is though. And I'm gonna go scissor snooze, cause that's my jam. Is that, that is R and B? Like, like yeah, yeah I'm gonna go sure. scissor snooze. Okay. I love that. That's my jam right there. She did her big one. No, that is a good one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to go the worst. Okay. And then I'm gonna go um one plus one, Beyonce. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going Moody Long, made for me. Oh, that's my that's a good song. Wait, but I gotta throw my girl Rihanna in there. Which one though? I'm thinking. I'm thinking this song. Um, what's the, what's that one song? But well, she cheated on the guy, and she trying to. She man trying, down. No, not man down. But that's it. Too. <laughs> that's a good one. No, the other one. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Oh my, when she tears, she was like, I don't want to do you wrong. Like, 
Unfaithful. 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 I don't think I know that. What? Mariana? I Unfaithful? Think, I don't think I know that. You're going to have to tap I'll in. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay. okay. I got homework. Um. Okay, so what was the whole idea behind redoing the Keisha Cole love and then calling it Bozo? Yeah. What inspiration did you get to do it, like, to do that? Um. So, obviously, Keisha Cole love is a classic song. It's mm-hmm. about love and, like, loving your man and just like, everybody screamed that song mm-hmm. and like I feel like the girls have been in a period where it's just like forget these men mm-hmm. you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. so I was like why not take the classic and be like no Flip like mm-hmm. no I need to we need to talk about something else you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like talk about the opposite and I was I was going through it in my relationship it was just feeling like it was perfect timing for mm-hmm. me you know what I'm saying That's and I hard. feel like it was just going to resonate with a lot of the girls. Yeah. I mean, even the guys, shoot. You don't know. I ain't going to lie. I like I like the vibe of the song. Yeah. Especially when it got to the part. I was like, ah! And you're like, forget that. Forget that. You know? Yeah. I love when you, like, promote and tease your music because you're always, like, doing the trailer somewhere that we're not. I'm going <laughs> to... Where were you when you when you did the trailer for Bozo? I was in the Cayman Islands with my friend Ken. Period. She also another female rapper. We was out there having a blast. It was literally just us two. Mm-hmm. Just us two. That was a vibe. Yeah. So when you... um. Are you big on TikTok? Are you big on... What's your favorite, yeah. like, social media that you like to create on? Um... TikTok, for sure. Mm-hmm. Really, all the social media apps, I feel like they all have different, like, uses to them. Yeah. But I just like using Triller because, like, to snippet my songs. Mm-hmm. Because they put, it's like a little mini music video. Yeah. They put it together and for And it's kind of nostalgic, too, when yeah. you see it, like, from back in the day. Yeah, like, that's what I used to use in my, back in my Twitter days. Mm-hmm. It's like, when I was a Twitter girl. <laughs> yeah. Good times, good times. One of my favorite songs by you, I told Sammy this when she first played me this. It say too much. Oh, okay. I lo- I feel like you're really good. I don't know if anybody's like told you this, but I love the way you redo songs. Oh, thank Cause it's you. Because it's like very organic to your sound. Thank you. Um, whose idea was it to put Nudie on it? That was my idea. Really? I was like, I'm coming soft and like mm-hmm. pretty and and just uh-huh. cute, and yeah. I just feel like it just needed that like griminess to it. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. yeah. Like, he came on that smooth yeah, though. Yeah, he did. Like the guy. Yeah, talking about it. Exactly. Yeah. That was genius. That was genius. Thank you. Well, we're super excited to see everything else that you do. Shout out and congrats on your family again. Thank you. Make sure you guys go download Bozo and make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and we'll be looking to it for another episode right here on Hot Ones. Fuck that. Ain't no more love for a hoe. Guarantee that nigga double pack. His homeboy the one I should have chose.